Hi all, myself Dr. Elsa Maria Sebastian. Here we are discussing the question papers of dental materials. The QHAS question papers that is the Kerala University Health Science question papers. We know that impression material is one of the important chapter of prosthodontics. So we are, uh, so here we will discuss the chapter impression materials. First we will discuss the essays, then short essays and then short notes. Coming to the essay question, first question. Define an impression, discuss the uses, composition and setting reaction of elastomeric impression materials. So the question consists of three parts that is what is an impression, then the uses, composition and setting reaction of elastomeric impression materials. So first we will write what is an impression, then we will write regarding the elastomeric impression materials. So coming to the definition of an impression, dental impressions are negative impressions of teeth and oral cavity. Then we will write regarding the uses, composition and setting reaction of elastomeric impression materials. Coming to the uses of elastomeric impression materials, the uses of elastomeric impression materials are they are used in fixed partial dentures for impressions of prepared tooth, for impressions of dentulous mouth for removable partial dentures, for impressions of edentulous mouth for complete dentures, then polyether is used for border molding of edentulous custom trays and it is used for bite registration. Then silicon duplicating material is used for making refractory cast during cast partial denture construction. Then we will write the composition and setting reaction of each elastomeric impression materials. So we will give subheadings like polysulfide, polyether, adhesion silicon and condensation silicon. First we will write regarding the polysulfide. We have to write it uh, like what are the composition then we have to write what is the setting reaction. So coming to the polysulfide it is also known as mercaptan or thiocol. Then it is composed of base paste and reactor paste. Base paste consists of 80 to 85 percent of liquid polysulfide polymer and 16 to 18 percent of inert fillers. Then coming to the reactor paste it consists of 60 to 68 percent of lead dioxide, 30 to 35 percentage of dibutyl phthalate, 3 percentage sulfate and 2 percent of other substances like magnesium stearate and deodorants. Then coming to the chemistry and setting reaction, lead dioxide first we will write what is the chemical reaction that is mercaptan plus lead dioxide gives polysulfide plus water. The lead dioxide reacts with the polysulfide polymer causing the chain lengthening by oxidation of terminal SH groups and cross-linking by oxidation of the pendant SH groups. This reaction is an exothermic reaction and it is accelerated by heat and moisture. So then, then we will write regarding the silicon rubber impression materials, condensation silicon and adhesion silicon. First we will write regarding the condensation silicon. It is also referred as conventional silicon. It composed of base paste and accelerator paste. Base paste consists of polymethyl siloxane, colloidal silica is around 35 to 75 percentage and color pigments. Then accelerator that is orthoethyl silicate which is the cross-linking agent and the catalyst tannous octate. Then coming to the chemistry and setting reaction, it is, uh, formed, it is uh, formed by dimethyl siloxane plus orthoethyl silicate in the presence of stannous octate uh, results in the formation of silicon rubber plus ethyl alcohol uh, where the ethyl alcohol evaporates and which causes the shrinkage. So we have to write the setting reaction and the chemistry. Then coming to the addition silicon, addition silicon is also known as polyvinyl silicon polyvinyl siloxane and then it is composed of base and accelerator paste and the base paste consists of polymethyl hydrogen siloxane, other siloxane premolase and fillers. Accelerator paste consists of divinyl polysiloxane, other siloxane prepolymers, platinum salt that is this catalyst, palladium or hydrogen absorber, retarders and fillers. Coming to the chemistry and setting reaction, it is an addition reaction and the reaction is vinyl siloxane plus silane siloxane in the presence of platinum salt gives the silicon rubber. Then we have to write regarding the polyether rubber impression material and it consists of base paste and accelerator paste. Base paste consists of polyether polymer, colloidal silica, glycoether phthalate which is the plasticizer. Then coming to the accelerator paste, it consists of aromatic sulfonate ester, colloidal silica, phthalate or glycoether. Where the aromatic sulfonate ester is the cross-linking agent, colloidal silica is the filler and the phthalate is the plasticizer. Then coming to the chemistry and setting reaction, it is cured by the reaction between aziridine rings which are at the end of the branched polyether molecule. 
and the reaction is that polyether plus sulfonic ester gives the cross-linked rubber. So here we have to write the setting reaction and the composition. Coming to the second question, classify impression materials, explain in detail about irreversible hydrocolate, add a note on recent advances in alginate impression material. This question contains the three parts, first part is impression material classification, then irreversible hydrocolate that is alginate, then we have to write regarding the recent advances in alginate. So first we have to classify impression materials, we have to write the classification and we have to write the example of each classification. Then we have to write regarding the irreversible hydrocolate that is alginate, Coming regarding what is an alginate, then what are the types of alginate, then we have to write regarding their uses, then we have to write regarding the composition. When we are writing regarding the composition, we have to write each ingredient and its percentage and what is its function. Then we have to write regarding the setting reaction. Then we have to write regarding the properties. When we are writing the properties, we should include the factors like taste and odor, flow, flexibility, elasticity and elastic recovery, reproduction of tissue steel, strength, synergies and impubition, dimensional stability, biological properties, adhesion. Then we have to write regarding the manipulation. Then we have to write regarding the disinfection of the impression. Then coming to the recent advances in alginate, we have to we have to write what are the recent advances that is dust free alginates, de-dusting agent that is glycerin or glycol is being added, then siliconized alginates that is silicon polymers are added, then alginates containing disinfectants that is quaternary ammonium salts or chlorohexamine, then hard and soft set alginate by adjusting the amount of fillers. Then coming to the third question that is classify impression materials then explain in detail the composition and manipulation of the alginate impression material then add a note on synergies and impubition. So here we have to uh, classify the impression materials then we have to write the example of each classification then we have to write regarding the alginate composition of alginate and the manipulation of alginate impression material. When we are right regarding the manipulation, we have to write regarding what are the factors affecting the setting time and mixing time and what is the motion and we have to write the, write the features like how it will affect the setting time and working time. Then coming to the next point that is its property that is synergies and imbibition. We know that synergies is it is a dimensional change that is occurring to the hydrocolloid that is due to either loss or gain of the water. Inhibition means absorb the water and synergies means exudation of the fluid from the gel. This is the property that is shown in hydrocolloids. Then coming to the next question, classify impression materials, explain in detail about the composition, chemistry, uses and setting reaction of zinc oxide eugenol impression produced. Here we have to classify, again we have to, uh, we have to write regarding the classification, then we have to write regarding the examples of each classification. Then coming to the zinc oxide eugenol impression, impression paste, it is a rigid impression material, we have to write regarding its uses, then we have to write regarding the composition, the base paste and the accelerator paste. Then we have to write regarding what are the ingredients in base paste, what are the ingredients in accelerator paste. Then we have to write regarding the setting reaction, how the zinc eugenolate is formed and the chelation reaction should be explained. And we have to write regarding the setting time, working time and the factors controlling the setting time. And then the next subheading should be given that is the properties of zinc oxide eugenol. And then we have to write regarding the manipulation. And we all know that when we are coming to when we are writing regarding the advantages and disadvantages, the burning sensation of eugenol, the eugenol in the zinc oxide eugenol can cause burning sensation and tissue irritation. So for that uh, we have modified zinc oxide eugenol paste where the eugenol has been replaced. Coming to the fifth question, what are reversible hydrocolloid? Write in detail about composition, setting reaction and manipulation of reversible hydrocolloid impression material. The reversible hydrocolloid impression material is known as reversible because the physical state can be reversed. This makes them reusable. Then the second part we have to write regarding the agar. Agar, when we are writing regarding agar, we should write regarding the classification as use 
its composition, then gelation or setting of agar, then the manipulation. Manipulation of the agar the, is quite important, it can be asked as short knots also and the equipment and material required for an agar impression are hydrocolloid conditioner, water called rimlock trays, impression syringes, connecting water hose, agar tray material in tubes, agar syringe material. We have to explain regarding each points. Then we have to write regarding the properties. Then we are moving on to the sixth question. Again, the classification of impression material and write in detail about rigid impression materials. We have to write regarding the classification of impression materials and coming to the rigid impression materials, we have to write regarding the impression compound and zinc oxide eugenol. Here also we have to give the subheadings, the classification, the uses, the composition, the advantages and the properties. So, we have discussed the 6 essay questions of impression materials. On the next section, we will discuss the short essays and short notes. Thank you. See you again.